Okay, Patrick McCabe here, and I thought I would take some time to share a little app thing that I'm writing. So this is my iPad, and um, I have the Touch OSC app on it. The thing with this is basically it's a uh, $4 or maybe $5 app you can buy. And there's software on your computer you can use to design an app. Basically, you have access to some different buttons and uh, toggles and whatever, you know. You have access to different inputs, outputs. This page, uh, well, let me show you a little more example. So here's the software I use. They have software to design. And um, basically, each little button here, I have a keyboard I made. There's a button below it, the red thing, and then the black is a label, um, which is assigned the text value of A. Uh, and so when I click the button, uh, a message gets sent to processing. You can see um, this is the name uh, of the button A, so keyboard A, dash A is what I named it. And that's the message that kind of gets sent over to processing. So my processing sketch, which is behind this, um, breaks this message apart at the dash. So I know it's a keyboard button, and it's the A1. So this is really easy when it comes to displaying a text. So I have a processing sketch, because there is no code actually. Well, obviously there's code, but uh, none that I wrote running on this. There's just these buttons and that data you saw will get sent over um, Wi-Fi using the touch well, using the OSC format and processing has a library for that I get the data um, manipulate it and uh, basically with those labels um, I can display information back so there's four rows of buttons so you can see I touch it and it lights up same thing down here. There's buttons and then the black bars are labels on top of the buttons. So I can choose an input line and uh, then when I start typing my text shows up on that label because my code on my computer on the processing uh, knows which buttons I'm hitting and knows which um, line input line I've selected and so it can reroute this and send data back to these um, labels because they all have individual names and thereby display text. So let me just hit play on this processing sketch. So the processing sketch is running and you can see I can select the first input line type and it says I typed test be a little small for the camera. Um, this is test, and um, I can make that bigger if I want. And I can, uh, you know, type on other lines. I can uh, delete. I can type and put spaces. you see and basically that's why I have programmed a little keyboard and the inner button will be used to actually send the commands because this is going to be meant for controlling robots obviously and so that's basically a keyboard input for controlling a robot and I just had this other page just to give a little more information about it um, these are other input devices and they can also be output devices you have X and Y pad these aren't doing anything right now. Sliders, whatever. These things. And basically, what, like I was saying, these can be used as inputs, so I can, you know, maybe control a servo or something. Or you can send data to that, and um, it will move with data. So you can be displaying sensor information or uh, anything. And I've done it, but it's I don't have it running right now. But you get the idea. 
So that's basically what I'm working on now. Um, I guess I have my keyboard, my text input almost done. I need to get the enter button, I guess. Probably doing something. Uh, and demo. So that's it for now.